The United Nations right now is calling Russia's attacks on Ukrainian infrastructure war crimes. Overnight, Russia continued its assault with drone attacks on Kyiv. 23 drones were launched. Ukraine says their forces shot down 18 of them. Joining us to talk more about the ongoing battle this morning, Yevrenia Krovchukke, a member of Ukraine's parliament. Thank you once again for being with us. I want to start with the battle in Bakhmut. This is a city in the eastern portion of Ukraine. Tell us why this bloody fight is so significant to the battle right now. <laughs> Well, uh, from the very beginning of the war, um, uh, the Russian army promised Putin a very, um, you know, easy fight and victory. And uh, they were supposed to conquer the whole Donetsk region uh, in probably, you know, nine months ago. And um, Bakhmut is one of the key cities in Donetsk region because if you control Bakhmut, you cannot, um, you know, push away or, or, or go to another regions, to Kharkiv, to Luhansk. Um, and it's pretty big as well. Um, so um, it doesn't matter for Russians how many soldiers uh, they are losing. They, you know, it looks like a, a first world war with this number of uh, bodies on, on, on the ground. And they sent more and more. Yeah, but yes, it's strategic point to control Donbass. Who has the upper hand in Bakhmut right now? Uh, I would say that uh, Russians have more artillery. That's why we've been asking for more uh, artillery, for more missiles. Uh, but you can imagine that if they are trying for 10 months to go and pass Bakhmut and they cannot, um, then they have some troubles. Uh, of course, they are losing a lot. We're losing a lot. Um, but uh, still, um, our soldiers say that they will be um, keep fighting and uh, holding this uh, city for more. How concerned are you, Yevrenia, about Vladimir Putin visiting Belarus later today, um, that Belarus may uh, support Russia in its ongoing battle? Um, is that something that you and other members of parliament are talking about today? Uh, well, um, you um, have to understand that uh, Putin came to Belarus for the first time since 2019. Um, they met with Lukashenko, uh, Belarusian dictator, for like six or seven months uh, since the beginning of full-scale invasion. But all of the times, Lukashenko was flying to Putin to Moscow. This time, Putin had to come himself. And I assume that, yes, he will be trying uh, to pursue uh, Lukashenko to, uh, to give uh, Belarusian army or Belarusian tanks into the fight. Um, if it happens, I don't know, uh, because probably Belarus could join even months before. Um, but yes, uh, Putin will be trying to, uh, to use Belarusian army. Um, to go from the north and probably to attack Kyiv as well, because Kyiv is in northern part uh, of Ukraine and uh, pretty close to Belarusian border. But we are ready, even if Belarusian army will cross the border. We're waiting for, for them and black bags uh, um, for Belarusian soldiers as well. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.